In this lesson, we'll learn how we can start to import our rotoscopes into Softimage. Okay, so picking up where we left off in our previous lesson, once we have our rotoscopes built, we're ready to now bring these into Softimage to use as our modeling reference. So to bring a rotoscope into any of our viewports, we can do this through this menu right here in the corner of each one of our viewports, right here where it says wireframe. Now if I click on that, we actually have this uh, long menu, and down toward the bottom we have rotoscope. Now if we click on this, this will allow us to actually plug in a rotoscope. So let's go to New, New from File. And if you take a look inside the Pictures directory of this project, you do have uh, these series of rotoscopes that have been saved out from our previous lesson. So I want to connect this into my front view, so I'm going to choose my rotoscope front and click OK. So now you can see that my uh, rotoscope has been loaded up into this viewport, and we are ready to start working. So typically, if you are uh, using some kind of a modeling reference, you'll probably have rotoscopes from more than one angle. So in this case, I have this front view loaded up in my front viewport. Now I could also load up multiple rotoscopes in these other viewports as well. So if I were to go, again, in this right view, down to rotoscope, I can plug in another rotoscope from here. So again, new, new from file. And for this side view, I'll plug in this rotoscope side. Okay, and just for now, I'll close out this property page. And here's our second rotoscope. Now, we can actually test this and make sure that everything still aligns properly. If we were to go up to Get Primitive, Curve, and maybe just drop in something like a quick circle. Okay, so I'll take this circle, just press and hold the Shift key on my keyboard and rotate this around. Switch to my Move tool, and pull this up. And what I'm doing is just uh, quickly checking my registration to make sure everything still lines up properly. So find another landmark item, like, for example, the top of this little character's pincers. If I move it up to the top, or rather move this curve up to this top uh, area in my front view, you can see that in my side view, everything still matches up properly. It's exactly where it needs to be. Same thing if I were to grab this and maybe move this below the character's eyes. Again, just checking my registration to make sure everything does align properly. As long as I make sure that my images are actually the same size whenever I save these out from Photoshop, this should uh, come in and everything should align exactly as we would expect. Now again, uh, pointing out something that we had mentioned in our previous lesson, you can see that because this image was properly centered uh, in Photoshop, that uh, things like the left and the right side of our character are aligned perfectly to this central Y axis. Now, when it comes to actually removing the rotoscopes from these scenes, uh, if we no longer need these or uh, they're no longer required, uh, all we have to do is, again, just go back to our viewport. All the way at the very bottom, we have rotoscope options. So let's pull this down, and what we can do is just simply hit clear. Now, once we clear that out, you can see that this image is no longer part of my camera rotoscope, and it no longer gets displayed in my viewport. So we could just repeat this process with any of these other rotoscopes that we want to get rid of. So again, back to my rotoscope options, and clear that rotoscope. Now, even though these rotoscopes have been cleared out of my viewports, they are still part of my Softimage scene. Now to make sure that these are properly and completely removed from my Softimage scene, what we can do is go up to View, down to General, and let's take a look inside the Softimage Explorer. Let's click on this, and we're going to go down from the scene root, which is probably the default setting. Let's pull this down, and let's switch this to sources and clips, all the way down toward the bottom. If we expand this, we can see any images that are being used. Among these, you can see our rotoscope front and our rotoscope side. You can see they're still part of my Softimage scene, but at the moment they're not being used. So to come in and make sure that these are properly removed, just simply select those, and press the delete key on your keyboard. Now we can make absolutely certain that these rotoscopes are not uh, going to complicate uh, maybe any potential use further down the road uh, where someone may start to get some errors about Softimage not being able to find the rotoscopes if we pass this along to someone else. Uh, again, just making sure that everything is nice and removed from our scene. Okay, so what we'll do in our next lesson is take a look at how we can start to resize and reposition rotoscopes within Softimage.